Hey sprinters, see your tip number eight, hire early. But Simon, I don't have the revenues to hire right now. Mm, maybe, but let me tell you from the experience that I had and from the ones that we see dozens of time every day when we coach entrepreneurs. So my experience was I did it after, I don't know, first year we hit half a million in revenue and then, and when I say we, it was me, just one person, right? And so I said, well, let's push it just a little bit harder. Who knows what happens next year? And then I did another year of basically alone, just I handed over the accounting, so bookkeeping, everything financial and following up on invoices, etc. And then I hired a VA for a couple hours, 10 hours a week. That's it, but then second year, still just Simon. And then everything changed because then I really started hiring and everything changed. And the most important point was when I realized, hey, every time I do something and it works. I can write it down, I can hand it over. It works even better. Because if you are a CEO, if you are a founder, then your superpower is probably not to manage things that are already working. That's a different superpower. Probably your superpower is to create something out of nothing and then to hand it over, to be managed. So I realized that by doing it and the most important shifting point was when I fired myself from operations so being a professional service I coach entrepreneurs so the question was but if I don't coach who coaches then well my colleagues of course the network of colleagues where I was collaborating anyways and so I had to create the system, I did it. I had to get it out of my head. What do I do in week zero, week one, week two, week three? How do I solve this problem, this problem, this problem? Which tools do I use to do this, that? So I brought it out of my head, created an online course, started educating my colleagues, and then later on it became a certification program. But the first moment, and I remember this, and my wife says to me, ah, you are not coaching them? So aren't they disappointed? They come for you and then they get somebody else. And I said, we will see. And Monday is the first time. <laughs> and so on Monday, I onboard this new client and I say, hey, welcome uh, to your sprint. And um, you will accomplish those three goals and you will install these three key systems. And here's your coach. And they go, cool, Simon. All right. Yeah, see you in 90 days. And I go, what? Is that easy? They didn't miss me at all. And then I realized it's all ego to think that it's you. It's not you, it's the process that you go through with them. And that process can be learned and can be done by everybody else. So it's about the process. It's not about the single person. Think of uh, cooking the French cuisine. You don't have to be... Um, <laughs> the French chef to do it you can teach it other people can do it right that's that's why you can build multiple restaurants and they run uh, you are not limited to just running one restaurant right and you don't have to cook in all your restaurants of course um, it's like Ayurveda you learn the principles and then everybody can cook Ayurveda since thousands of years it's a couple of principles and so, but you have to write down these principles and then to teach these principles and then you can hand it over. So that's the experience. And now, what can you take out of this for your week? I don't know. But think of your current context and think of, of all the things that you did today, yesterday. Which one gave you energy or took energy from you which one did move the whole business forward versus just parts of the business? 
And which one would you like to delegate next? You can delegate. Sometimes before you delegate, you have to systemize. You have to write them down, and then you can delegate them. You can outsource them, or you can just cut them. So that's the invitation for this week. Go through your time allocation and think of what can you hand over next. Hope this was helpful. Keep rolling. What if your business would run well even when you are on vacation? Discover how 1,600 business owners have regained their freedom using the Strategy Sprint's blueprints. How they enjoy living their dream and watching their business scale. Get the exact checklists they use to go from stressed to fulfilled using the Strategy Sprint's method. Order your copy of Strategy Sprint's 12 Ways to Accelerate Growth for an Agile Business on Amazon today. And if you love it, leave us a review. For more information, head over to strategysprints.com.